In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for RBF. This is rubidium fluoride. So first, let's write the element symbols next to each other. We have RB for the rubidium and then F for the fluorine. Rubidium, that's a metal and fluorine is a nonmetal. So when we do this, we're going to have an ionic bond. And in an ionic bond, the electrons are transferred from the metal to the nonmetal. So rubidium is in group one on the periodic table. So it has one valence electron. Fluorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. It has seven valence electrons. So right now, the fluorine, it only has seven valence electrons. If it gets one more, it'll have an octet. So the metal, the rubidium, that'll lose an electron to the fluorine. Now the fluorine has an octet, has eight valence electrons. The rubidium, the shell underneath, it has eight electrons as well, eight valence electrons as well. So that's very stable. Since the fluorine has gained an electron, it now has a negative charge. Electrons are negative, it has an extra electron. The rubidium it lost an electron, so it becomes positive, one plus. In order to show that the electron was lost from the metal to the nonmetal, we'll put brackets around the fluorine with the negative sign on the outside. Sometimes you'll see brackets around the metal as well. So we have our positive and our negative, they're attracted to each other, they're opposite charges, and that's what forms the ionic bond for rubidium fluoride. So when we look at this Lewis structure, this only represents one formula unit. Rubidium fluoride is a crystal, and it's made up of a regularly repeating pattern of this formula unit. Still, this is useful for us to understand how the electrons were transferred from the metal to the nonmetal to give us the Lewis structure here of rubidium fluoride. RBF. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.